Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss over the Windows function. So Windows function means it is similar like the aggregate functions we have done, but uh, uh, there are a few differences that I'm I will be showing today. And before that, I I want to mention one thing. You have a great option today, like uh, means always you have an option like to pause the video. So pause the class. So whenever you feel like uh, you are being overloaded, just pause the class and just practice all those codes, all those queries by yourself in your SQL Server. That will be the suggestion because today the uh, that this topic will not be tough. It is very simple, but quantity wise, I will be showing today many queries, many queries. All of them will be one liner. That is my guarantee. That is one liner but still there will be many so you need to practice one by one whenever you will be feeling like okay it is too much just pause the class and just practice those things and take a break and then come again okay so just logic wise they will be easier but you have to understand okay so and uh, one more thing like i am also a slow learner till the date even till the day I face some problem when I learn something new. So my suggestion from that uh, point of view, like you might not be a slow learner, you might be a fast learner or anything, but still as, a, as being a slow learner, my suggestion will be to practice all those things by, by yourself. So that's the thing. So if I come into the topic now, what is this Windows function? So it is similar like aggregated aggregate function, but the difference is it maintains the original table structure. In group by what you find like the queries are being grouped into some summarized result. But here in the Windows function, you can see the original data, you can see the original record, and in an extra column, you can find that new sequence. So what I'm talking about, if I just try to uh, replicate here, if I go to our database called BW, and if I write something, select start from student. So I have modified the table from the last class a bit. I have deleted few columns and I have put some marks here and uh, filled up some null values. So now our table looks like this. If you are starting from this class, you can create a good table like this. I am assuming you know how to create the table. So. This is the table where we have a set of data, 11 records are here. Now, if I want to make something, if I want to uh, show gender wise average marks, so what will be our query? It will be something like group by gender. If you do not know what is group by, I will request you to follow all of our previous classes. We are not covering any interview topics. We are not covering any academic syllabus. We are just learning here. So if you are interested, you can check all of our previous classes. So I'm assuming you know group by. So we only require group by here. So I'm using that thing as well. So if I do that, gender wise average marks will be displayed. So few people are female, few are male and few are unknown gender. So you can see the average marks here. But if I want to show the original table, because here you cannot see the data itself. You are, you are able to see only the summarized record. But in Windows function, it is also written here. If you want to retain the separate identities and you can, if you want to show the aggregated value as an extra column and that will be added to each row, then you can follow this way. So what I'm talking about, you can do something like this. You can simply write the average marks you want to see as an extra column over partition by uh, gender. So what it will return, it will return the full record set of the table with an extra column where you can see the average marks. So for all the females, the average marks is 78.20. You can see, and it is being attached to all the females as an extra column. You can see the full set of data. It is not like average. It is, it is calculating the average and group the table. Means it is, it looks different. If you check, if I execute, the both of them you can see here in the traditional way it is like female 78 you cannot see the original set of data but here you can see the original set of data like jerry jacob maria and priya are females and you can see 78.20 
attached with all of them. Same for the male. There are three records, male. You can see 69 and for, uh, for the uh, un uh, unknown genders, you can see here the data is looking look like this. So it is a new approach. Now you might be thinking what is over, what is partitioned by. So these are just the rules made by Microsoft people. So you have to know like, okay, I have, there is a syntax called over. You have to write over in between partition by and average marks, your aggregate function. So average marks will be the same like previous. Here you have to add an over clause. And after that in bracket, you have to write your query. Partition by looks similar like group by. See here it is written like group by gender. Here I'll be using partition by gender. So that is our approach and we will be learning to work on these things. And it is my guarantee we will be dealing with only one uh, one liner code only. So it will not be difficult like join, like uh, group by, like other things, like procedure, like views. It will be very simple one liner code, but there will be too many. I will be giving more and more examples today. And for today's class, first time I will be sharing the codes as well. You can find all of these queries in the uh, in the description section. So you do not need to do anything as of now. First check. And after that, whenever you feel overloaded, you can pause the class and you can do the do uh, write those queries by yourself. So if I go further here in the uh, slide, you can see I have written Windows function can be in three types, ranking, aggregate, and value. Okay, so you can see few of the things, the syntaxes like partition by something. Here we have used partition by gender. So whenever, someone is mentioning like partition by X, that means for each value of X, there will be separated series. It is completely separated series. You can see I have written that in capital, in bold, in green. So it means whenever you will be using partition by, that will be completely separated series, completely. And whenever you are using order by, so all the values will be dependent on that order by field. So if it is an order by Y, some field called Y, so all the values will be changed. Values will be changed when there will be a new value of Y. Okay, so if all the fields of Y is same, there will be no changes. If the value of field Y is changed, then only in the new sequence, in the new column, the value will be changed. I'll be showing both of them. Partition by we have checked but we will check what is order by. So if I directly jump into the ranking function first, so we have a couple of ranking functions like this. So if I show you what does it mean one by one. So if I go to first rank function, so I'll be sharing all those queries with you. Don't worry. So still, if you have uh, any doubt, you can let me know in the uh, comment section because I have seen a couple of, when I was a student, I seen a couple of, uh, blogs, couple of uh, things uh, written on this part, but it is really hard for me. It was really hard for me to understand all these things uh, uh, in in uh, one go. So I it took time actually. So I'm trying my best to uh, show all the all possible queries to understand in in a better way. So let me show you first. Let me try that first. If I execute this query, select star from student. Now I do not need any where. So what I'm, I'm trying to do first, I am using a rank function. So it is ready-made. You do, near, do not need to know uh, how it is being created. You just need to know how it works. So I am writing something rank over order by say, say I am writing H. If I do that, obviously this query will create a new column here, a new column here, and that will be showing, that will be showing the, a new sequence created on the basis of ascending order of age. Let me run the query then. You can see Jacob's age is 16. So she is marked as one, rank one. Jerry and Anshul, both are 17, you can see. So both of them are marked as two. They are in the second position. Surprisingly, Maria, whose age is 18, she's been marked as four, not three. Why that happened? 
suppose in your uh, suppose you are arranging some uh, singing competition and you you just purchased three gifts for the uh, for the people who will be first second third now you can see there is one person who got the first rank and there is two person who got the second rank so what will you do you cannot say maria become third then you have to give her a prize but you do not have in those cases it is it is suggested like to give maria a sequence like four you can tell that maria you are you got the fourth rank so you cannot get any prize okay because it is allocated for first three person and that is jacob jerry and anshu you you can uh, give an explanation like that even if i go further suraj and george also having age 20 and 20 so the next person priya will be having an age called 7 priya is not having an age of 6 means rank 6 priya's rank is 7 okay because both of them are holding the fifth rank similarly here as well 999 rank if anyone comes after that he or she will be marked as uh, 12 okay kind of that if i if i do the reverse order by age descending if i do that let me run it in all possible ways i will be trying to make you understand in all possible ways how means i can i can try to execute as many query as i can so if i do that you can see if i do it in a reverse way obviously order by we know that order by what order by does order by just sort the table and or arrange the table in some way here it will try to arrange the table as per the age descending so obviously it is already arranged but you can see a extra column is there first three person as marked as one because prashant arya and basu both of them uh, all of them are having as 30 after that bill is being marked as four priya is being marked as five so in the similar way so probably you are getting the idea of rank rank means if there is three person at the top three position then the next person will be marked as four there will be no second no third it will be directly into fourth okay kind of that so but if you do not like this way if you do not like this way that okay i i do not like this way just use dense rank dense rank means there will be no gap it will be densely populated the difference between dense rank is if i run this query you can see bills sequence will be two bill will not mark as sequence four it will be just sequence two if i run that so it will be closely coupled that means there will be no gap no air between the ranking so bill will be marked as rank 2 okay so that is the difference so if you if you uh, prefer this uh, approach you can use dense rank if you prefer like okay previous approach was good if there is three toppers i will mark the next person as four if you prefer that approach you can choose rank so it is up to you so on the basis of requirement you have to use dense rank and rank apart from that what we can do we can use something called where it is where it's a slide okay row number we can choose suppose if anyone do not like this repetition what is 111 1? i do not like i need some unique values if you are going for the unique values you do not need a repetition in your new sequence column you can simply use row number if i use row number computer it is the responsibility of computer anyhow computer will manage this sequence so prashant arya basu all of them is having as 30 but somehow uh, so by some logic some unknown logic some random logic computer has marked prashant as 1 arya as 2 basu as 3 so that is the thing you can see so row number is never duplicated you can see 1 2 3 5 4 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 all are unique values so if the situation comes like that you have to use row number i will be showing you a uh, number of good examples at the end of our class where you can see row number is mostly used to solve this kind of situations obviously rank dense rank are also used but still there are uh, as per the priority or as per the popularity row number is the one which we use mostly so i'll be showing you some uh, good examples so now if i proceed further there is something like n type so if i want to use that entire so what entire does 
n tile basically split the table into multiple parts. If you want to split the table into three parts, just write n tile three over, you can write something order by age, order by age descending, yeah. Anything you can write from student. So what will happen? We have 11 records. So these 11 records will be split into three parts as per the ascending order, as per the descending order of H. So what I'm trying to mean, you can see first four records are being marked as one. Next four records are marked as two. Last three records is marked as three. So that means if I have 12 records, the partition will be equal four plus four plus four. But here it is 11. So the last part in the last part, it will be three. So first part will be marked as one. Second part will be marked as two. Third part will be marked as three. Okay. So these four records will be marked as sequence one. Next four records will be marked as sequence two. Next three records will be marked as three. The same thing we are doing here as well. If you, if you check closely. So first four records is, are being marked as one. Next four records are being marked as two. After that, last three records is, are marked as three. If I want to split it into four parts, so obviously 11 records, let me first, uh, under, let me try to uh, chalk, it out, chalk it out. Just uh, 11 means three plus three plus three plus two. So that means first three records will be marked as one. Next three records will be marked as three, marked as two. Next three records will be marked as three. And last two records will be marked as one, uh, marked as four means this will be marked as one then two then three then four if i run this 11 records you can see first three records are marked as one next three records are marked as two next three records are marked as three and remaining two records are marked as four so that is the thing so if you use n time so now uh if i proceed uh, percent rank and okay before proceeding that let me show uh, how to deal with uh, partition by with this column so if you remember partition by means if i go to the previous slide in green you can see it means completely separated series so the logic of partition by is very easy so if i want to see the principle of partition by with this same statement rank so if you write partition by here partition by gender. So first thing, it will give an error because as per the syntax, you have to write partition by before order by. So if you write partition by later, it will not work. So what I will do, I will just copy and paste partition by just before the order by clause. So partition by gender means it will create completely separated series on the basis of gender. You can see if I execute. So here, three different series is being created on the basis of three different values of the gender field. If I want to mark, so on the basis of female, a unique series one, two, three, four is being created. You can see on the basis of male, a unique series is being created one, one, three. Why one, one, three? You can see the marks of Suraj and George is similar. And the next person on Sul will be marked as 17. Means then he will be marked as three. So anyway, uh, I think this understanding is clear, but still partition by means it creates a unique series. So these two boxes has no relation between each other. It is a complete separate series for male. It is a complete separate series for female. Even it is a complete separate series starting from one once again for the unknown genders. So they have no relationship between each other. So and that is being termed as completely separated series on the basis of gender okay because i have written something you can see the highlighted line here partition by gender so partition by gender means for each value of gender there will be separated series if i write partition by states so that means for each state there will be a series so for west bengal there will be a series for delhi there will be a series a separate series so there will be too much so to make it short i am using gender so i will be getting three different series only so that you need to remember same will happen if i apply the same for the dense rank you can see if i write partition by gender so dense rank query we know it will be condensed there will be no gap 
But if I use the partition by, so three different series is being created. Obviously, one, two, three, four. Here you can see one, one, two. So that dense rank logic has been applied. And here as well, it is one, one, four, one, one, two. In the previous example, it was one, one, four. So all of them, whenever I will use partition by, it will be treated as a separate series, separate sequence. Okay. So that you need to remember. So same for n tile. N tile is splitting the data into multiple part. So if I use that using partition by, then obviously each series, each sequence will be divided into multi part. So for females, you can see, uh, okay, n tile four is too much. If I divide into two parts, each series will be divided into two parts. Then you can see for females. It has been four record has been divided into two parts. First part with sequence one, second part with sequence two. Here as well for three male people, first part is marked as one, second part is two. And for four records from the unknown gender, two has been marked as one, two has been marked as two. So that is the thing. So basically partition by is creating some independent series. Okay, if you do not use partition by, there will be only one series defined on the full table. If you use partition by, there will be multiple series, multiple sequences based on that partition by field you have mentioned. So here I have mentioned gender. So as per gender, there will be multiple fields defined. If you have any single doubt, you can let me know in the comment box. But if not, let me proceed. I have two more functions here. So percent rank and cumulative distribution. So what is percent rank? It is very easy, believe me. So if I if I show you percent rank, select star from percent rank. So it just denote the, okay, let me first write partition by, partition by gender. For each gender, I need a unique series and by age descending, let it be in that way. So it will show the progress. In the female, I have four records. Okay, sorry, something I missed. Okay, I missed to mention order by. So in for the females, we have four records. So you can see for the first record, it is on the zero. After completing that, it is on 0.33. So it will show the previous value. So if I if I distribute four records in four part, let me draw. If I have, uh, suppose, I have four, I have, this is my part. I have four values. So each break can be taken. The first break will be here. Suppose uh, just a minute, let me draw something. First break, you can find it uh, here, suppose. Second break, you can find it here. We have four values. Suppose we have four values. The second break you will be finding somewhere here. So four values can be placed in this way. So after the first value, you can see it will be said like, okay, uh, uh, before the first value, you can see we are on the zero. After that, we are in the 0 0.33. After that, after the third value, uh, it is uh, 0.66. And at the end, we are at the one. So if I need to mark, obviously I, I mark these four values as zero and this value as 0.33. Okay, this value is 0.66, kind of that. And this value as, as one. So that is the, just a minute. Yeah, that will be one. So obviously after printing the first value, I will be saying zero. After that here, I'll be saying 0.33. After that, here I'll be saying 0.66 and here one. Same for the these three marks. You can see for all together, because all of them are 30. So all of them will be marked as zero. Once I am I have covered fourth record, it is one. Why not 0, 0 0.33, 0 0.66? I have mentioned one thing in my slide. If you not missed, the sequence value will be changed as for the y field so here order by y means order by y means when the value of y will be changed then only the sequence value will be changed so you can see here i have written order by age 
and age is same for all the records. So if there is no change in age, obviously there will be no change on the sequence. As all of them are having the same age, here as well, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. That is the difference between these two. Here, age, all the ages are different. So values are also being changed. Here, first three ages are same. So values are also displayed in that order. Okay. So now for male, what is happening? So we have three records for male. So it will be zero in middle 0 0.5 and in middle. So it will be something like zero. In middle, it will be 0 0.5, zero, 0 0.5, and at last 0 0.1. So first two values are same. So we'll be at zero for first two values. And for the large values, obviously we'll be at the end, means one. Got it? So we have a tie here. So the value will, will not be changed. So for first two values, we are at zero, means we are at, I mean, we are at, somehow we are at in this position for first two values. And after that, when the value is being changed for age, for the last value, we are, we are at here. So that is one kind of that. Okay. So uh, now if I write something called select star from suppose uh, cumulative distribution, cumulative distribution. If I do that on the same set of record, it is also same, but it creates, it creates four parts in this thing. Means for the same female record, you can see the changes. Let me use some other color. So here it will be saying like, it is not like a milestone, like the previous, what it is saying, it will be saying like, okay, the first part, the 0.25 here, the next part 0.5 will be placed here. The next part, the point uh, five part will be marked in will be marked in here as 0.75 and the last part will be marked as 0.1 kind of that so when you will be using so here it means four vertices okay you can see sorry four edges you can see four edges what i'm trying to mean the segregation it's a bit different here. It is four edges, first edge, then second edge, then third edge, then fourth edge. And here, these are the points only. These are the points, means first point, second point. So the calculation is a bit different, bit mathematical, I will say, the hard point and fourth point. So in case of percent rank, the, the Sequence has been distributed in four milestones or four vertices. And here for cumulative distribution, the sequence is being distributed into four vertices, four uh, edges, I will say. So you can see in green, four edges are being displayed. Okay, again, uh, don't be confused. You have the power to write your, your query anytime. So whenever I feel confused, I just run the query and I can feel the difference. I can clearly see after first record, it is 25.25. After second record, it is 0.5. Third record, 0.75. You can simply run and check. Last record, it is 0.1. Same for here, we have two values. Uh, so for first two values, it is 0.66. And for the last value, it is one. We have completed the journey. Here as well, first three values are same. So directly, it will be 0.75. For three value has passed the that path means 0.75 has been covered by first three. First 0.75 has been covered by first three records together. So I have written 0.75, which is achieved by first three person. And after that, for the remaining, it is one. Why these three are same? Because here ages are same. Okay, so the values in the sequence will not be changed if the value of age or value of order by is not changed. So you can see, so in red it is written value will be changed as per y. What is y? If you write order by y. And the, there will be separate series, you can see in green on the basis of x. What is x? Whichever field we will be writing in partition by, after that which field you will be writing 
that field will be that field will be causing this unique series okay so i think partition by is more easy here but if you want to deal with order by you have to understand that whenever the value will be same you cannot change the same the sequence value will also be same okay so and this part is very easy uh, once you run your program you will be able to understand what is exactly happening so now if i go further for the aggregate function we need to remember this thing partition by means a separate series and order by means uh, the values will be changed in the sequence as per the field used in order by so rank dense rank okay so these are being covered so if i go further the aggregate function i'll be using there is sum average max min count so if i go to a new query select star from student suppose i am using and whenever you want you can just write the query by yourself and check the phenomenon so you will be feeling confident in that case so if i want to use sum of uh, marks say over order by uh, order by uh, 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 order by age descending if i do that so obviously sum of marks will be calculated but whenever it is ordered by whenever the value of age will be changed only then the sum of marks will be changed so for in the first place you can see 30 is being achieved by i mean 30 the age it is the same age for prashant arya and baki so on the first chance it will be like 196 the sum of these three the sum of these three if i show you uh, so prashant having s30 got 55 arya having s30 got 75.50 uh, basu having age 30 the same age is being marked as 65.5 if i do the sum it is 196 so value will not be changed because the order by field that is age is the same if age is same, the sequence value will also be same. You can see all of them are 196. After that, the obviously age is being changed. So 99, so it will be added because we are looking for sum of marks. If I go further for 371, it is, it is coming from after adding 76. But here again, 57 and 69, both of them, the, if I do the sum with 371, it is becoming 497. So I will be Q means together I will put those value into this field. Both of them will be 497. Okay. So that is the use of uh, sum of marks. But if I use partition being now, obviously the same series of, of with the same logic will be distributed into multiple. So let me again use partition by uh, gender. So in this case, the same series will be created thrice because gender has three different values. So you can see first series is being created for this. Second series is created for these records and third series will be created for these four records. So whatever was written in green at, at the first slide, you can, you can remember it creates separate, separate series which are independent to each other. It never takes the value from the upper one. So it is something like that. Okay, so separate series, entirely separate series. I think the logic of partition by is much easier than the order by. But if I show more examples, if I show more examples, like I can use, I can use suppose max marks, partition by gender, order by age. So obviously there will be three different series. So if I, okay, first let me remove the partition. Let me check for, it, for the whole table if there is only one sequence if i assume in that way so first three 75 is highest perfect if i include bill 99 is now highest if i include priya it is 99 and so on it is 99 if i do something like minimum marks as per age so as per as it is as per age so obviously, again, I will be starting from Arya, Basu, and Bill if I execute. So it is 55, the minimum marks. After that, it is okay. All of them are 55. So that is not a good data to work with. If I do something, order by age. See, 
in the in the for means straight cut whatever by age so whose age is very less 16 jacob the maximum mark up to this record is 60.30 maximum marks up to this two is 60.30 because they got 86 and 82 up to this marks they got 90 90 is the up to the this marks 63.0 is the lowest if i include 69 this thing and 57 because both of them are having the same age so the minimum becomes i got a new minimum that is 57.50 the value in the sequence column is not being changed because in the age column they have the same value now if i include 21 it makes no change 57.50 is still the lowest one if i include 29 it is also the same because the lowest is 57.50 and the value in the current field is 99 so now if i include all three the lowest become 58 okay and it will be same for the other two records as well okay so order by means you have to go in that way if the value of the field written in order by is being changed then the value in the sequence field is also being changed so that you need to remember okay but still if you are getting any query result where you are not getting the result as you expected just paste the code in the comment box or in the mail i will be trying i will be trying to give the proper explanation for that okay so if i give go further obviously that can be uh, applied on average that can be applied on the count as well. so let me apply that in count let me apply that in count so obviously when a new column will come new age will be coming because i am writing that on age so the value of the count will be changed if the values in uh, age is same the values in sequence will also be same. I am repeating my words multiple times. So here, count is one. After that, Jeru, Jerry and Anshul came, both of having 17 age, you can see. So value should not be changed in the new sequence column. And you can see it is not changed, it is three. After that, new value came 18, so it is four. After that, new value came for both of these cases. Uh, records Suraj and George 20 and 20. So the sequence become 4 plus 2, 6 and 6. Kind of that. All right. If I do the same, like using partition by, so partition by is very simple. It creates multiple, it creates multiple series. And they do not have any relation between each other. So if I write partition by gender, you can see three different series will be created. If I execute, you can see three different series. First series in again, if I marked it with green as per the definition written in the first slide. So this is one series, one, two, three, four. This is another series, one, three, three. And the last one is another series, one, four, four. Got it? That is the count. So here the count is increasing one, two, three, four one two three four here the count is increasing like one and after that as age is same for both of them both of them will come together and if they come together it will become three one two three so three and three here as well it has started from one here it is started from one but i have three records having the same age so as it is or age is written in order by clause so here as well all of them will be marked as 444. Okay. In case of any doubt, just let me know. I will try to answer because these YouTube classes are not interactive one. I do not like it much, but still uh, it is being done so that it can be easier for you to understand. But still, if you face any problem, just let me know in the comment box. So if I, these are being called as aggregate window function. If I go further and these are the last few functions that we need to know that will be termed as value window function. So here we have to insert something. We have to insert some value inside. Okay. Like if I go to a new query, suppose select star from student and let me check. So I want to be besides Jerry, 
age 17 i want to put suppose beside uh, okay let me present it in order by role order by age descending so if i do that obviously first name will become as prashant so i want to check the record previous record of prashant and the age of that person as well so i i will not get anything for arya i will get i will try to fetch the age or let it be marks i will try to fetch the marks of prashant here in this box suppose here somewhere here so i if i want to write that thing so obviously i will be writing select start then uh what can i say it will be what was the name i forgot lag lag means the previous record okay so if i write lag and if i give something i need to see marks one field earlier whatever field i am currently staying in i need to see the marks of the last record i want to see the marks of the last record okay that i want to see if i proceed in that way you can see lag marks one from student okay no sorry i i missed the over clause over uh, over over what can i write order by order by age descending suppose if i want to do that so descending wise you can see here you can see prashant has no person ahead of him obviously previous to prashant there is no records available there in the table prashant is the first value so it will be null for prashant for arya arya will show prashant's marks here basu will show arya's marks here arya got 75.50 so in basu's field you can see that so it is a new kind of um, windows function where i have to input a table field in the previous cases we didn't have to input this kind of thing a table field and as a uh, a, a number which denotes the number of places i have to look in so this is a new kind of windows uh, feature windows function feature and that is lag and lead there is another thing lead if you mention something like okay uh, i do not want to go one place up i want to go for two place up so obviously first two records will be showing null and after that after that it will be showing the result means basu will be showing the record of prashant marks of prashant in the same row if i do that you can see basu here basu is showing the marks 55 in the new column which is the genuine marks actual marks of prashant same bill will be showing 75.50 which is the marks of arya you can see so i am i am going two steps i am going back two steps okay an obvious reason first two records will be showing null in that case okay so i can do the same for the following rows as well so if i write lead lag and lead so lead means it will try to face the record from the following two steps so obviously last two records will not be having holding any valid value because we do not have any records after that so last two value last two records will not hold any value but here prashant is holding 65.50 which is the marks of basu okay so what why this kind of uh, functions is required because these functions are required if you want to find something like differences of rainfall between last year and current year in those cases this kind of things are required okay so you need to where you need to compare the differences between rainfall between last year and this year or this year or predicted rainfall of the following year kind of that so in those cases you have to use lag and lead and lag and lead both are available from 2012 sql version so anyhow if you are using a sql version <coughs> sql server version which is older than 2012 probably you are getting an error okay they will be showing there is nothing called lag and lead so if i go for first value and last value 
Okay, uh, before that, if I use partition by, obviously you can understand, you can understand that it will create separate series. And we can prove uh, partition by the theory of partition by here. So you can see, we can prove that, that they are completely separated series. You can see, I have four females. The last two females are showing null. Jerry is not picking up the record of Suraj because Suraj is coming from a different series. So the last two values for each series is becoming null. If I write lead and comma one, so last record of each series will be shown as null. Jacob can take the value from Suraj, but Suraj is coming Suraj is now being a part of a different series. So Jacob will think that series is being ended here. He will never go to pick the value from the next row. So it proves also partition by separate, create some separated series, which has no relationship between each other. It is, you can assume that we have only four records. Here, you can assume that we have only three records. We do not have anything before or after this three record. You can assume in that way. We have only three records. So the, obviously the last record will be null. Okay, so partition by just create separate series. Okay, so now if I go to first value and last value, this is the last two things. So if I write select first value of marks, sorry, first value of marks. See over, sorry, I'm writing something wrong. Okay, first value of marks over, uh, let me think, let me think, suppose uh, order by or partition by first. Okay, let me copy this, partition by gender and order by something, order by H. If I copy that, if I run this thing, you can see, oh, sorry, I have not executed any other columns. So let me put all the columns together and if I run, you can see in this part, in this part, the partition by in among the females, 76 is the first value. Though it is not being executed in this fashion, it is being executed in this fashion. Until this row, until this row, which was the earliest one, 76. Until this two, which is the first value, 76. Until this record, which is the first value, it is 76. Until this record, which is the first value of marks, it is 76. That's all. That's all. So the series is ended here because partition by is there. So it will create another, entirely another series on the next value of gender. So among these records, now again, in this record, which is the first marks, it is 69. In this record, which is the first marks, it is 69. In these three records, which is the first marks, you can see it is 69. So that is the thing. So it will be confusing if I write the second line. I promise that it, there will be only one line. I can print it in the separate query, but if I run that in the same query to make you understand. So now let me give a name like as uh, first value, first value, <clears throat> and here I can mark this as last value. So if I run this, both of them, you can see, now it will be confusing for you. Now you can check. What is the first value of marks? It is 76. So first value is 76. What is the last value in this row, highlighted row? It is also 76. Now, if I proceed further, among these two records, which is the first value? First value is 76. You can see the first value is 76 and the last value is 90. Okay. So you can see here, uh, sorry, just a minute. I am thinking in some, just a minute, just a minute. Okay. It is, I have written the query wrong. That's why it is coming in that way. Just a minute. 
I have written first value in both the cases. That's why it is coming wrong. If I write last value, let me run the query once again. If I run, you can see now. The last value for this record is 90. If I take both of them, if I take both of them, the first value is 76 and last value is 90. So in this record, it is 76 and 90. If I take uh, three values, three records, so which is the first and which is the last? 76 is the first and the last is 86.50. Same has been displayed here, 76 and 86.50 among these two. So it is a bit complicated, but yeah, uh, you have the option always to run. What I do, I do not remember all those things. I just write the query and try to feel the changes. And whenever it is required, as per the requirement, I, I apply that one. Whenever it is required, I do not remember all those. So if I go to the go to the next line, you can see these four lines. You can see the first value is 76 and the last value will be 60.30. You can see. So here, first value and last value will be printed. Now, this series is done because we are, have written like partition by gender. So a new field will be created here. So here as well, the same thing, 69 is the first and last value for this series. You can see, okay, uh, well, no, last value is now 57.50. Why? You can see the age is same. I missed that part. Sorry for this sound. You can see age is now, both of them are same. So it will be taken in a group. Here, nothing was in common. So, but here 20 and 20 is same. So both of them will be, taken together. So you can see the values are same for both of them. As we have learned in the first slide, whenever the order by Y, that field will be same, we will be getting the same value. Whenever it will be different, we will be getting the different value. Okay. For these three, if I take all of them, the first value is 75, last value is 55. You can see. So all of them, first value is 75, last value is 55. And the last one, for the last one, first value is 75, last value is 99. Okay, so if I explain this thing once again, if I take, suppose, let me explain again this part. First, let me discuss over this partition. Means only for the gender unknown, those people. So here you can see for those people here, you can see order by part is 30, 30, 30 is same. So for these three records, which is the first mark and which is the last mark? So the first mark is 75.50. You can see because th this three record highlighted. It is the first marks and it is the last value of the marks. So for all of them, you can feel the same. 75 and 55. And now if I take the four records, so out of these four records, first value is 75.50 and last value is 99. Let me uh, clear the drawing. For the, if I take the fourth record, so for the fourth record, first value is 75.50 and the last value is 99. So here it is being reflected as well. Okay. So it is the toughest one, I will say, first value and last value, but most of the things will be coming from the, most of the questions will be coming from the rank function, the first slide. Okay. So that is the thing. So if I go further, just let me know if you are getting any different uh, output which you are not expecting. So just let me know. I will try to uh, explain that. Okay. So you can send me that query over the mail or you can mention the same in the comment section. So now if I proceed further. So now few common questions that has been asked during the interview. Even I asked a couple of things uh, during interview rounds. So the common things are questions are display all alternative records from a table as per roll number, let it be. So if I show you all the records as per roll number from the table, select star from student order by roll. I need to show the alternative records. So alternative record means I will show George's record. I will show Jacob's record. I will show Suraj's record, kind of that. So what I will do here, you can see roll numbers are not arranged in a good way. So I will create a new sequence on the basis of row number. So these ranking windows functions are more famous than the other two. 
So when you spend some time over that, it will be clear for you as well. So I am simple. I'm, I do not need any partition by. I will be doing that order by role itself. So if I use a order by role here, so there is no need to use the same here. We have learned that in the first class how how it behaves order by role. So if I delete that, it will be okay. So you can see a new sequence has been created. So let me give a name as a CNT. So now if I take this query, if I consider this query as a new table. So suppose let me go to the end. So as like TB same. So I I I'm, I will target only sequence one, sequence three, sequence five, sequence seven, sequence nine, sequence eleven. So if I run this thing, so CNT is a, uh, representing the sequence. So I can write something like where this CNT field, something you can give any name. So if I divide CNT with two, the remainder will be one. Percentage means not a percentage. Percentage means remainder. It is, it is the same for all backend and frontend languages as well. If you go to Java, if you go to Python, for all the languages, percentage determines the remainder. So if I divide three with two, what will be the remainder? One. If I divide five with two, what will be the remainder? One. If I divide seven by two, remainder will be one. So I will be fetching the records where CNT divided by two, remainder will come as one. So if I do that, I will fetch all the odd records. You can see George, Jacob, Suraj, all the alternative records. Okay. So that might come as an, as an interview question. So if I go further, next question, display one female and one male record alternative. So what I will do, one female and one male. So I will simply, let me take this query and I will create, go for row number, but this time I will be fetching two different series for respective to gender. So I will create a series for males. I will be creating a series for female. Role number is not needed. You can, you can give anything. They have not mentioned uh, which female will come first, which male will come first. They just need male and female. So you can use anything in the order by clause. So if I execute, you can see a separate series is being created for one, two, three, four, all the females. A separate series is created for male. I do not need uh, unknown gender people. So what I can do, I can put a where clause here. Where gender in only male and female. I can mention that. So if I run this query, you can see two series only. So what I will do now, I will just simply write order by CNT. So that means I need this data, this record having count one from female and this record having count from male count one will be appeared first. So I will, I am, I, I just, my intention is that thing only. If I execute, yeah, you can see both of the male and female having rank one came into the first place. After that, both of them two and two, but you can see here it is female and male, then male and female, then female and male. It is not arranged properly. So what I can do, if there is any tie between count, I will take a look into gender means in the ascending order. So F comes first, then M. So always it will be FM, FM kind of that. So if I run, so we have learned that thing in the first chapter, if you can remember, if I write two parts in the order by section. So if there is a tie with respect to the first field, then only it will check for the second field. If you can remember, we have learned that in the first class itself. So here it is a tie between the first field, then it will be checking gender. Again, there is a tie between the second, uh, first field, it will be checking the gene kind of that. And in return, I can fulfill the requirement and I am getting female and male records alternatively. You can see that. Okay. So these are very interesting questions. Uh, and you can see in most of the situations, those ranking functions are being used. And it is commonly used thing. Okay. And this is a question probably 
uh, all of you uh, means who are watching this class probably you will be getting this question in your interview round for sure because because it is quite popular question asked during the interviews like display the details of the person who got the third highest marks or who got the fifth highest marks or who got the sixth highest marks anything so if i go for the third highest marks how to face that let's take a look i can simply write okay let me copy this query again so i can simply uh, write a rank dense rank function or you can write even row number but i am writing dense rank function just for a precaution if there is a tie between two person in terms of marks that's why i have written that so i do not need any gender specific ranking i need one ranking at in the full table depending on the marks and descending order if i do that i do not need to write this where clause so if i run this first part of the query it will be creating a rank one bill is marked as one rank Maria is being marked as two, kind of that, as per the order by marks descending. There is no partition by. So what I can do now, I can simply write where count equals to three. So that means I am targeting the third highest marks holder, that is Jane. Okay. So anytime, if anyone asks like sixth high highest marks, you can give count equals to six. That's what. That's what you can do. Okay. So that is quite popular question asked during the interview rounds. Okay, if I go further now, you can see print the running sum of the marks. We have done that already, but if I repeat that thing once again, select star from a student running sum. So I can do something like uh, sum of marks over, I will not choose any field which is being repeated. So I will choose something like role that will never be repeated okay if i choose age you can remember i will get the same values for multiple people so if i choose role there will be no duplication and it will be something like sum of marks 57 after that if i add 57.50 with 86 it will be 144 if i add them it will be 204 and this kind of thing okay sum of marks order by role so it is kind of that all right, all the rules are different. So all the values will be different as well. Okay, that's why I choose rule. So that is the thing if I, okay, sorry, if I go further, it is find the duplicate records. So duplicate records first, let me put some duplicate record. Suppose let me put some duplicate record for bill. Let it be insert in student. That will be the last query. And I know you all are overloaded already, but if I, want to try to solve this last query. Suppose I am inserting the same value of bill twice. I will do the same for Basu as well. Basu's role is 65. Okay, I have inserted one duplicate value of bill. If I do the same for Basu, it will be, you can see it is now two records for Basu and bill as well. If I execute one more time, so Basu's records will be four records, two plus two, four. So if I check the table now, we have few multi, uh, few duplicate records in the table. Select so start from student. If I check, bills records will be duplicated. Yeah, you can see two bills. First record of bill and second record of bill. And for Basu, we are also having four records. Okay, you can see th three records from here to here. And one record is here. Here, I mean. Okay. So I want to remove the duplicate. I want to, I do not want to remove. They are asking for find the duplicate record. So what I will do, <clears throat> let me think a row number I can use over. You have, it is the sense actually. It is the sense. It, it will be generated once you started working on that. Try to solve more and more queries. I will try to create some uh, demo exercise or some real time situations. Uh, some situations where you have to think in the exercise. So more you practice, more you get that sense like, okay, when I have to use a rank, when I have to use dense rank, it is already being a class of more than one hour. So obviously you can think it is, it is something logical. 
So you have to get that idea. So I will try to replicate some more questions in the exercise so that you will be able to understand, you will be able to get the idea when and where we have to use which Windows function. Okay, so here I want to create a unique series partition by for each role. For each role, I want to do that. And order by anything, order by anything, order by role, whatever it is, I do not care. But for each role, I want to create a separate series. So obviously, all of those values, Suraj, Priya, Prashant, having one value only, one record. So there will be only one value in that series, in that sequence. But for Basu, for role 65, there will be four person. So that series will look like one, two, three, four, kind of that. So if I execute, you can see the same in the output as well. You can see for everyone else, it is just one record in that series. But for Basu, it is one, two, three, four. Four records are there because they are duplicate. For Bill, there is two records for the same roll number. It should not be there. For each roll number, there should be one record only. Like these records, George, Jerry, they have only one record in their series. But for Basu, it is four. So obviously, I need to target the duplicates are this one, two, three, four, and two. So obviously, now it is a bit clear for you what I'm going to do. So what I will do now, let me make it big. And this will be our last query. So I can mark these as like sequence, anything you can mark. And I can write select star from and give a bracket and take it as a table called T where sequence greater than one. I will take those values only. If I take a look, so then Basu's three, three records and bill one record will be available here. You can see. So these are the duplicates. You can simply delete that. How to delete? We'll be learning that in the uh, next few sessions, not today, but it is the way how you can find the duplicate records. Okay. And this is how you can use those Windows function in real time situations. So I have given five examples. There might be many more examples you can find in any Google uh, uh, portal or any, any from anywhere, any exercise you can try to solve over these things. Okay. So I have uh, created one exercise as well. So if you want, you can have a look. So you can go to SQL exercise basic that uh, album in our Facebook group, all the details will be mentioned in the description section as well. Otherwise, you can see the details here as well. You can try to solve those things. Hope it will be more clear to you. If you are finding any difficulties over any queries, just let me know over the comment section or over the mail. I will try to solve that as well. I, I will try to explain. Okay. So, yep. That's all for the day. Uh, practice that thing. Okay. We'll be coming with some more examples in the next classes or next sessions. So for the time being, just practice Windows functions. That's all for the day. Bye.